Preston North End here at the City Football Academy this evening, taking on Manchester City in the latest pre-season run-out for Frankie McAvoy's side ahead of the new campaign. It comes fresh off the weekend's one on draw with Accrington Stanley. Frankie McAvoy with a number of changes for this evening's game up against the reigning Premier League champions. Ryan Ledson then with the armband on for Preston North End, who have Ripley in goal, a back three of Story, Lindsay and Hughes. Wing-backs will be Vandenberg and Earl, with Ledson and Whiteman continuing their midfield partnership. Brad Potts supports Tom Barkhazen and Ched Evans in attack. Ched Evans, of course, having began his burgeoning career with Manchester City. Tom Barkhazen driving forward here into the box. Let's go down the tight avenue in the end. Ruben Diaz forcing him wide, and in the end, he couldn't quite get his left foot round it. Sliced under it somewhat. Pozzo here has it. Looks to play it through for Knight, who is going to get there before Ripley. Safe. Ripley stands tall, went down to ground right at the correct moment. And did deny young Ben Knight as he bore down on goal. You just made a great point, you know, how you say playing out from the back and, you know, how it's filtered down the leads and stuff. And I think it, you know, it, it's definitely got its place and it definitely entertains. Barkhazen in here for Preston North End, just crowded out in the end by. Jao Cancelo, oh, the chance does fall away, but John, I'll let you finish your point. No, it's it, it, it just, it, you know, it has got its place and it does, it is effective in games, but sometimes teams, it's like they're being made to do it and forced to do it, and, you know, it becomes frustrating at times as, you know, as a, as a supporter. Fox has it here, thinks about his shot, he tried to drill it towards that bottom left corner, he had a very similar effort away at Brentford last season that did find its way into the back of the net. So here's done very well to just spin away from Ledson, finds the Portuguese Cancelo, and now it is with Mares. Mares being shown the line by Josh Earl, but he wants to come inside. He does eventually finds Cancelo, gets a shot off left-footed, and Ben Whiteman, I think it was, who threw his head in front of the ball. Mares here this time does elect to put it into the penalty area, but can't beat the first man in Hughes. Heads it out to Cancelo. Now it's with Rogers. Rogers, who Manchester City picked up as a youngster from West Bromwich Albion. Said he was with Lincoln last year, helped them reach the League One playoff final. And unfortunately for them, they lost to none other than Blackpool. But Rogers has picked it up here. Here's Morris, though, with the free kick. Curls it goalwards and into the top corner. In the end, Connor Ripley, just a spectator as it does fly into the top corner, just lifted over the wall by Riyad Mahrez, and it curled beyond the grasp of Conor Ripley, and into the back of the net, it gives Manchester City the lead here at the City Football Academy, Manchester City 1, Preston North End 0. Earl has it now, driving forward finds Barkhazen, Barkhazen looking to link with Earl down the left wing for North End, 14 to go to the break. Can North End restore parity? Barkhazen crosses in just behind Evans. Letson has a shot in the end. And it goes straight down the trap of Zach Steffen, but it is one on target for Preston North End. Now back with Pozzo. Goes into Fernandinho. And he now curls it back out to the chest of the Algerian. Who cuts in field. Flights it towards the far post, there's story to deal with it for North End. Goes up to Barkhazen, who's clever with his header away. And now Potts plays it over the top and Barkhazen has raced onto it. Tries to round Zach Steffen, who gave himself a very strong starting position. In the end, it was a 1-2 from Barkhazen and Potts. Earl here, looking to link with Potts on the edge of the box. Trying to turn away from Diaz, across comes Cancelo. Pots back to Earl, and now it's Barkhazen. Invites Ledson into the play. Ledson, ball over the top, headed across goal. There's Vandenberg coming forward from wing back there. 
In the end, City able to slam the door shut. Andrew Hughes's pass out to the wide area is intercepted by Palmer. He's now closed down by Whiteman. Whiteman plays it across the face of goal. Barkhazen waiting for a tap in at the far post. Fernandinho, now it's with Mares. Forward looking for Pozzo. Seen off it. And it is Cancelo once more. Cancelo to Mares. Mares curling it to the back post. Mendy's on side, oh. heads it down, and Cole Palmer leading back. Swipes it over the top of the bar. That a big chance for Man City to double their lead before the break. North End are beginning to enjoy a bit more of possession and being able to get their way out of the dominance that City looked to put over on. And Ledson here plays a ball out in what is now beginning to be driving rain. As Vandenberg comes forward, Bolton stepped out trying to win it but wasn't able to, oh. flights it in and Potts climbed high. But in the end, he was caught between cushioning it down, I think, for Evans and trying to put it on target. In the end, cushions it high and wide at the target. Now it's with Bolton. He gives it into Smith here. Puts his head up and just plays it five yards square into Kuto. And that's the way Pep Guardiola wants his side to play the fullback to such an important part as effectively jump. Auxiliary midfield players, they tuck in so much at times that it is like having an extra playmaker in there for Manchester City. If Pep Guardiola, I think, could name ten playmakers on the pitch, I'm, I'm sure he would do as. City looks to come forward here through Idozi. Shifted onto his left, gets the shot off. Ripley was expecting it maybe to be dragged into the corner. It caught him unawares, but at the second opportunity, was able to take it in before Pablo Moreno looked to swipe it home. When you go from a system that North End have had for so long, certainly under the last regime of really a, a one-man strike force at all times, to then change back to having a two, it is beneficial to give these guys minutes together in pre-season to get them used to one another. As Ledson here might have the ball and looks to lob it over the keeper, Stefan. And in the end, it goes on to the top of the netting. I was making the point about the forwards there. But it was Ryan Ledson showing most intent. It was a mistake from City playing out. Stefan there, he's not really made a mistake this evening. You know, he's done really well. I've been very impressed with him. His passing's been good. He's, you know, he's made two, good, uh, two or three good saves. But just there, it was just that little pressure uh, by the... the Arguably, you know, the, the front two who've just come on, they pushed him that little bit and he made the mistake and led him, uh, pounced upon it. McAtee gets away from White and gives it into Moreno here. Now it's with Bolton getting forward. Back to Moreno. Moreno square into Smith. Smith thought about a pile driver from range and in the end thought better of it. Gave it into Kuto and gets it back. Now square into McAtee on the edge of the box. Sells a dummy to Whiteman. Now flicks it into the path of Idozi, who drills it low. In at the near post, Connor Ripley unable to react and get down to the shot. It's a second for Manchester City. And the goal is scored by Sam Idozi. Yeah, I think he's two nil to City. He's been the most well, he's been the lively one at the moment, and it for City, you know, he's been great little movement. He, he actually went and uh, he didn't get the first pass, so his second movement was excellent. Harrop floats it towards the far post. Bauer amongst those interested. Sampler heads it down. Now Alan Brown sees off Kuta on the edge of the box, gets it into Maguire. Maguire drills it across. Blocked at the near post. And now back with Maguire one more time. Harrop on the edge of the box does get the ball as it's swept across the penalty area. Now it's with Rafferty. He's the free man. Curls it to the far post. Bauer slides in. It rolls behind him. Stefan may well have got a touch there. Just to flick it away from the German sliding in at the far post. North end just can't get it over the line. Roberts trying to twist Andrew Hughes one way and the other. But as the whistle sounds, that is the end of the action at the City Football Academy. Preston North End falling in the end to what is just a second defeat of the pre-season programme. Riyad Mahrez with a wonder goal from a free kick midway inside the first half. Conor Ripley unable to reach it as it curled beyond his grasp. And then midway through the second spell, young 18-year-old Sam Idozi 
twisting and turning in the penalty area before thundering it in low past Connor Ripley at the near post. It's given City a 2-0 win in their first pre-season run out of the campaign. Here from the City Football Academy, it's finished Man City 2, Preston North End 0.